Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nadia and I'm a foot specialist in Ontario. I also opened up my own clinic right after I graduated and I also got my real estate license recently as well. So in this video, I actually wanted to answer questions from someone who commented on my video. So thank you for that because I like questions. It gives me video ideas and then I'm sure it helps a lot of other people because they probably have the same question as well. So someone commented, hi Nad, I'm an RN. I'm interested in completing the Chiropody program you completed. Can you do a video about your experience at Michener course load compared difficulty in between your degree, so I guess my undergrad degree and the Chiropody program and the demands of the program. Can you work while you're in school? So first I'll answer my experience at Michener. So Michener, like I really liked when I went into the program in 2016, so I graduated in 2019, um, they accepted about 30 of us. So our class was really close and it was nice having friends um, because when I went to York, there was like a thousand people in the program that I was taking. So it was a totally different experience for me. It's actually where I met my husband. So um, yeah, in terms of the environment, um, it was really good. The teachers, like, I really liked. I didn't have any issues with. You do get close to your teachers, so they're all going to know you by name. So, I don't know. Personally, I didn't experience that before, so I really did like that at Michener. And then, in terms of the course load, so, it's. I know it's different now than when I was in school because of COVID. Like, things, some things switched to online, whereas we were going every day, like, pretty much 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. So, it would be really hard to work while in school, like work full time anyway. I always worked throughout school, so I always had a part time job. For, so for me, it wasn't really an issue working part time. If you're working full time, I would say it would, it would be hard um, just to balance the course load and it depends on how the program is now. So I know right now in 2022, it's still partly online and you have to go in for some labs, but if you're going in nine to five every day, like that's gonna get tough or it's kind of impossible unless, you know, sleep, I don't know. Um, so yeah, definitely you can work part-time during school. Um, Full-time would be, I don't think it's possible. So yeah. So now I'm gonna compare the difficulty between my degree and the property program. So I've been, I'm lucky because, because I really have a good memory, so it's not hard for me to remember stuff um, when it comes to school anyway. Like there's things that I forget because I don't store it in my brain, but when it came to school, like it's never been an issue for me and I don't really get stressed about school or tests. I know you probably hate me for saying that, but um, I wouldn't say it was more difficult actually. That's not true. The only reason I would say it's more difficult, it was more difficult than my undergrad degree is because in undergrad it was pretty much just multiple choice tests, which I'm amazing at. This program has like clinical exams, um, you gotta do like patient interviews, and you gotta do a lot of practical tests, which I get super nervous for, but that being said, like it's not hard, it's just more the nerves that are gonna get to you, but you just gotta push through that. So I wouldn't say it's more difficult than undergrad is just a different experience and I had a lot mentally I had to overcome to get past it but like it's not like it, it's I'd say it's hard to fail so I think you need like 65 in every course to pass um, so yeah it's hard to fail as long as you do your best like you care about the program you care about what you're doing like you're gonna pass it'll be fine and then yeah the coursework is fine not too many assignments or anything like mostly tests and then practical and written so um, I would 100% recommend doing it it's definitely a good profession to get into and um, you learn a lot in three years last year is all practical so um, there's that which helps you don't get paid or anything but at least you don't have as many like tests and stuff so yeah if you're an RN and you're thinking about doing it I would 100% recommend doing it um, Yes, like it would be hard to work full time, but in the end, I think it's it's worth it. I hope that helps. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and thank you so much for watching.